What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel Scotrix and today as you can see we are back on NBA 2K22 Next Gen for another build guide video and in today's video I'm going to show y'all how to make the best Tracy McGrady build in NBA 2K22 current gen or next gen sorry. This build is super super good, it's basically a demigod build, it's a 6 foot 9 build that can play point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, whatever you need, it can guard any position and it's obviously amazing on offense, scoring and playmaking just like Tracy McGrady in real life so this is a super super good all around build and I'm gonna show y'all how to make it right here but before we get into that I just want to mention really quickly if y'all have not subscribed to my channel yet make sure you click that subscribe button only about two percent of people who watch my videos are actually subbed to my channel so if you click that subscribe button right now you can join the two percent gang I really really appreciate it helps it a lot but with all that being said without any further ado let's get right into the video here All right, so first things first for this screen right here, the only thing that's important is you want your position to be a small forward. The reason you're making this a small forward and not a shooting guard is so you can get a few extra badges here and there. And also you have to make this build six foot nine. So it's like Tracy McGrady in real life, just like a demigod in this game. And then nothing else really matters. You can pretty much set up everything else however you want. Then go ahead and click continue. Now for the body settings right here, first off for the height, like I said, you're gonna wanna bring this up to six foot nine, which makes it like a demigod build. It's gonna be super, super, super good. And this also allows it to be able to guard basically any position from small guards all the way up to basically post scores. So put it to six foot nine right there. Then for your weight, you're going to want to go ahead and go down to 195 pounds right here. This is so that you can get your speed back up a little bit to a 78 and also some of your other attributes change for the better for the most part. If you put your weight down to 195, then for the wingspan, you just want to leave this at base right here. If you move it up, you lose some shooting. If you move it down, you lose some finishing. You don't want that. So you just want to leave it at the base six foot 11 wingspan right here that's where you want to be then for the body shape this also does not matter i'll just set it to defined because i think it's the most similar to tmac then just go ahead and click continue now for the attribute and badge distribution right here first off for the finishing you're going to want to go ahead and get your close shot up to a 63 just so that you can hit close shots consistently that'll be good enough then you want to max out your driving layup up to a 97 driving dunk up to a 81 and then also max out your standing dunk up to a 87 right here and you don't want to touch post control you don't need post control as you can see that gives you 24 finishing badges and you can get every single good finishing badge for the most part onto either gold or hall of fame you can only get posterizer onto silver but that's still good and every other good finishing badge either gold or hall of fame so just set that up just like that then you can go down to the shooting for shooting you want to max out your mid-range max out your three-pointer and then you don't want to touch your free throw you can move your free throw up i'll show you how to do a build with free throw but if you're making this for the park you don't need to touch your free throw you can just leave that at minimum but i will show you how to add free throw later if you do want that but for now just go down to your playmaking go ahead and put your pass accuracy right here up to a 79 right here then you want to max with these other two categories ball handle and speed with ball that gives you 22 playmaking to go along with your 30 shooting in this category so super super badge dope build right here that's how you want to set all that up then you can go down to your defense for defense first off you want to max out your interior defense to a 75 then you want to put your perimeter defense up to 85 steel up to a 51 right here and then you want to leave your block at base you don't really need to upgrade your block too much since interior defense is quite a bit more important in my opinion since it will help you contest shots around the rim and block will just help you block them but if you're contesting them that's good enough anyways you don't need to waste attributes into block and take away from something else and then you can just go ahead and max out your defensive rebound as well so you can grab boards if you're guarding a bigger opponent or if you're even playing the big man on your team since this build can basically play any position on the court then you want to go ahead to your physical as max out speed acceleration just leave your strength at 50 put your vertical up to an 80 and then you want to put your stamina all the way up to maxed at 99 overall and you have one extra attribute which you can only put into free throw just like that so this is going to be the final settings for this build 20 24 finishing, 30 shooting, 22 playmaking, and 12 defense badges right there to go along with these amazing physicals. And if you do want to upgrade your free throw, you can just drop anything a little bit like your mid range or your three pointer and just max out your free throw. It's really not that hard to upgrade free throw. It doesn't take much, but for me, I don't really want to upgrade that. You can you can drop anything you can drop some of your finishing some of your playmaking some of your defense whatever you need to drop whatever you think you won't need to get your free throw just drop it a few attribute points upgrade your free throw but for me like i said for the park i won't need free throw so i'm going to go ahead and confirm it just like this now for the takeovers right here this is kind of personal preference depends more on your play style i can't really tell you which ones to take i can tell you some of the good ones probably limitless range uh, extreme clamps Enhanced jump shot contest is probably also good. Ankle breaking shots if you want to break ankles. 
pull up precision is good and then easy blow buys and finishing moves are probably good as well but for me i'm probably going to take finishing moves as my primary takeover and then i'll take maybe limitless range or something as my secondary takeover since these fit my play style pretty good since i want to be an all-around scorer but you can set it up however you want it really depends on your play style then go ahead and click continue yes and as you can see right here boom facilitating three level two way so kind of a cool name shades of hidu turklu gordon hayward and tj warren and i think the only reason it doesn't get compared to tracy mcgrady is because it's a small forward and this game has t mac listed as a shooting guard but it really is very similar to tracy mcgrady just go ahead and set it up like that then you can go ahead and click test build if you want to try out the attributes and the badges right here i'm going to show you how to put on the badges really quickly i recommend you stick around for this even though the game is new i think i have a pretty good idea of which badges will be good for this build so first off you're probably going to want to go ahead and get posterizer up to silver limitless takeoff i think is also going to be a pretty good badge so you're going to want to go ahead and upgrade that then slithery finisher you for sure want to max that out fearless finisher same thing whoops max that out then if you're catching lobs you're going to want to max a lob city finisher as well and pro touch i think pro touch on gold for three points is a really really good deal and then with your last one you can put it under anything uh maybe like acrobat or if you're playing the guard position maybe something like mouse in the house would be better but i'm going to put onto acrobat onto bronze just like that now on to the shooting badges right here obviously a ton of preference for the shooting badges I'm going to go ahead and put blinders onto silver, which only takes three. Catch and shoot, I'm also going to put onto silver, which takes three. Dead eye onto silver. Lucky seven, this is an interesting badge. I think it might be good this year. It's really up to you if you want to upgrade it, but I'm going to go ahead and put volume shooter onto gold just like that. And then I'm also going to go back and put on corner specialist onto silver as well. And then hot zone hunter onto gold. Sniper onto hall of fame. I think this will be a very, very good badge this year. Uh, it might not be, but I think it will be. I'm going to do, be doing an up updated badge video when I know more about the badges obviously the game just came out today so I'm going more off what I think it'll be like based off of the descriptions and also what the badges have been like in previous years but I think this is a pretty good badge setup and you still have five more right here so I think I'm going to put on lucky sevens onto the bottom tier right or the gold tier right there and then green machine onto the bottom tier right there to max it out then for the playmaking badges right here i'm gonna go ahead and put dimer onto bronze since you get that you're definitely gonna want to go ahead and put it on unpluckable onto silver quick first step onto silver handles for days onto silver i'm also gonna put downhill i think all the way up to gold since you do have a good rebound and if you can get running in transition with your six foot nine frame you're gonna be going crazy you're gonna be dunking on people on the other side of the court and it'll be good it'll be good so i think downhill is definitely a good badge bullet passer probably good as well Floor General, same thing, probably good as well. And then I'll just put Needle Threader and Space Creator both onto Bronze to max out the playmaking. Now for the defense right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put Clamps all the way up to Gold. Pick Dodger, same thing, put that all the way up to Gold. And then I think Menace is also a very, very good badge. So I'm just gonna set up the defense just like this. And there you guys go. That's how you set up the badges and make the build for the best Tracy McGrady build in NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Like I said, only 2% of the people who watch my videos are actually subbed to my channel. So if you click that sub button right now, you can join the 2% gang. I really, really appreciate it. It helps out a lot. And also I stream on Twitch. My Twitch link will be down in the description below. Make sure you go follow me over there if you enjoy watching live streams. But that's gonna be it. All right, peace.